as data engineers, leveraging Apache Iceberg in Snowflake Data Platform allows you to efficiently manage large-scale data analytics with high performance and open table formats. The integration of Iceberg in Snowflake enhances query performance, it supports complex data types and enables time travel queries for accessing historical data seamlessly. So in this new video, I'm going to walk you through how to create Apache Iceberg table in Snowflake, including configuring and authorizing external volume to the storage account. So let's get started. Now I'm going to use the same data set I used in just today's Snowflake task. So if you've not seen that video, I'm going to put it in the link of this video and you can always watch. So let me just quickly walk you through the data. Now we have this sales 2018.csv with all of all these um, columns and we have the sales 2015 to 2023.csv. Now the first one to do is to create a storage account in the same region of my snowflake now i'm going to quickly come here now this is my free version now i'm going to click on this account name and name and i'm going to check for the region that my snowflake is provisioned now i'm in the uk so this is actually in the uk south so it is really important my storage account is also in the same region otherwise there's going to be an error as you create your iceberg table later on so i'm going to come here and in the azure portal i'm going to click this storage account and then i'm going to create a new one and I'm going to mention all of these details. I'm going to call this one Iceberg Storage Account. And again, this should be unique and available to use. So I'm going to quickly click on this region and I'm going to scroll up and look for my region itself. So UK South, this must correspond. And then we will go to the next and enable the hierarchical namespace and click on the review plus create. And it's going to be validated and then we can click on create so i'm going to click on create and it's going to be submitted and let's see what happens okay your deployment is complete so i'm going to click on go to resource and you can see the iceberg storage account one is now created now i can see that the location is uk south which correspond with the region of my snowflake this is really important now i'm going to create a container and a directory and load some of the files into that directory of the container so under the data storage, click on containers and I'm going to click on the plus sign to create a new container. I'm going to call this one Iceberg Container. Again, you can use whatever name you like as the name of your container. So, container, and I'm going to copy this and eight at the bottom, create. So, this is now created. Now, I'm going to go into the container and create a directory and I'm going to call this one Iceberg DIR for directory and click save. Now I'm going to go into that and then we can upload the files. So I'm going to click on browse for files. I can control A to select everything, press enter and then click on upload. So we have all the files in the iceberg directory of the iceberg container of the iceberg storage account one, which is cool. Now we want to go ahead and create warehouse, database, schema and table in our Snowflake environment. So I'm going to come to this tab and then we want to create a new SQL worksheet. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to paste this code in order to extend things up. So we're going to call this one Iceberg WH as the way out and then for the database it's going to be Iceberg. Let me just correct this DB and then the schema is going to be Iceberg schema and then we're going to use the database and then we're going to use the schema immediately. So I can control A to copy everything and control enter so everything successfully created now i'm going to click on the refresh and we're going to see the iceberg database created here now we're going to create external volume to connect snowflake to the external azure blob storage just created and for that we're going to just move that a little bit and use this code so basically we have this statement create external volume which is named my external again you can use whatever name as you like and then we're going to provide the storage account credential so one we're going to need the name so i'm just going to call this one azure uk south and then we need the provider which is azure and then for the storage base url we need the name of the storage account and then the name of the container and then we need to grab the azure tenant id so let's just grab the storage account name so i'm going to come here and then i can go so the storage account so i'm going to double click to copy that and come here so i'm going to select this place carefully delete and control v and then i'm going to carefully select this part and our container is um iceberg 
container and this should be correct and then we're gonna grab the tenant id so i'm gonna come here and search for enter id so click on that and in the overview i'm gonna just copy that into the clipboard come back here and within the single quote i'm gonna control v to paste so we can see we have the name of the container iceberg container which is cool now i can press control enter to run the code so we can see my external successfully created so we're going to proceed to describe the external volume we just created so for that i'm going to just come down a little bit and use the describe and i'm going to call the external volume and i'm going to call the name my external and i can put in the semicolon and press ctrl enter so let me just collapse this to see all the details so let me just collapse and there we go so we can see we have the parent property which include the storage location and all of this data you can move this around and see all the information now i'm going to focus on the property value so i'm going to quickly copy everything we have in this box and paste in a microsoft word because it is quite difficult to be able to read everything up so i'm going to open this and paste the code first we're going to use azure consent url to request permission to azure and they're going to use the azure multi-tenant app to create snowflake client application to grant access to our storage account so for the azure consent i'm going to carefully look around there and it is around this environment so you can see the url so just copy this part carefully up to um, this part and control c i'm going to come to a new tab and i'm going to paste the code the link and press enter so i'm going to pick my account and then we've given the consent to the snowflake now we're going to go to the azure multi-tenant app name so i'm going to come back to the microsoft word document and i want to carefully copy this part to create the app so Control c and i want to come to the azure portal and then we want to go to the storage account and i want to go to the access control and i want to create a rule assignment and we're going to grant or create a storage blob data contributor so storage blob data contributor so there we go go and then i can click on next and then this is going to be assigned to our principal and then i'm going to select the members click on this and i'm going to paste what i copied and we're going to see that app here which is cool so this is selected i can click on select i can call this one um, demo app from snowflake snowflake and i'm going to click on review plus assign and i can see all the details I'm going to click on the review plus assign again and then we can see the role has been assigned so the next thing we'll do is to create our iceberg table itself so i'm going to come back to snowflake and then i'm going to move this down a little bit and let me just come here and paste this code so now to create iceberg we can use the create or replace and then it is really important you mention iceberg in your statement so we can say create or replace iceberg table and this is named as iceberg um underscore schema and then we have the name of the table now let me just make sure this correspond okay it correspond the name correspond and then we have all these columns and then we're going to provide the catalog which allows us to manage iceberg table and then we're going to also provide the external volume to link the external table we just created and then for the base url this is going to be for the iceberg table to the external storage so for my catalog this is going to be known as snowflake so in the snowflake you can actually manage all my iceberg table and then I'm going to just refer to the external um, volume we just created here and then i've got the base location now for the base location i'm going to provide the container name and then the name of the directory so i can just quickly grab the name of the container from here so Control c to copy and i'm going to come here and carefully uh, delete Control v and i'm going to come here also and carefully delete this part and Control v now i'm going to replace this with dir which is exactly what we have in the containers in the container okay you can see iceberg there okay so this is basically the statement to create our iceberg table in snowflake now i'm going to press Control enter to run the code and we can see table cells successfully created which is super cool next we're going to create a storage area in order to access our data coming from our adls gen 2 container so i'm going to quickly move that a little bit and i'm going to 
just go down a little bit and let's use this code similar to what we have in the last video so we have this create or replace stage so i'm just going to call this one my stage again you can use whatever name you like and then for the name of the url i'm going to provide the name of the account storage account so i'm going to double click on this to copy that and then i'm going to carefully select this part and paste and then for the name of the container so i'm going to quickly just grab that here so copy this and control c so i'm going to come here carefully control v and i'm going to do the same thing here control v and get rid of this container and this will be dir so we have the url of the stage area configured now we're going to provide the credential and it's going to be using the azure shared access signature token now to create our sas token i'm going to come back here and make sure i am in that storage account now to create the sas i'm going to come back a little bit and i can see under the security plus networking the shared access signature so click on that and then i'm going to allow the sas to be used on the service container and object and then i'm going to scroll down and generate the sas and connection string and i'm going to scroll down again and then i need the sas token itself so i can copy this to the clipboard come back here and carefully insert this single quote i'm going to paste that as the sas token so i can press Control enter to create my stage area so we can see stage area my state successfully created now i'm going to copy the data from the stage area into our iceberg table we created so i'm going to move down a little bit and i can just allow some lines so i'm going to paste this code so basically we're going to use the copy into statement so we are copying into the iceberg schema of the sales table and then we have this location so from this my stage area and then we're going to specify the file format as csv because our data are comma separated value so i can press Control enter to copy the data into the iceberg table we just created amazing so we can see we have a bunch of information in the file so we can see all of these files 2015 to 2023 and i can see the status as fully loaded and you can see all the other details now let's go ahead and check this out to query our newly created and with the data in the iceberg table so i'm going to just perform a simple just like we did yesterday um i can select and i want to select the year and i want to put in a comma i can use the function some function and let's sum the sales column as total sales and i can press enter and this will come from our table which is the same thing as iceberg schema dot sales i'm going to just copy this and paste i can just use the group by clause to group by the year column and then i can use the order by to order by the year so tab key I'm going to just type in j and i'm going to do this in ascending order so i'm going to put the semicolon and let's run the code control enter amazing so we can see that we are able to successfully create the iceberg table we are able to configure and authorize the external volume and then we have our data and then we can work with this so this is how we can create apache iceberg table in snowflake so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and follow me because there's a lot to come thank you for watching bye for now